Hi, my name is Mrs. Navarre. Thanks for joining me for another Mad Science Science Experiment. Today we're going to do a science experiment called Dancing Popcorn. It's pretty easy, but it's really fun to do, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have all of the materials that you need in order to do the experiment. So what I have here is a clear cup, and then it's got some water in it, and I have my popcorn, I have some vinegar, and I have some baking soda. And then, of course, I just like to have a little tray so it kind of keeps everything together for me. So I'm ready to start this experiment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some of my popcorn to the water. So uh, I won't put all of it. I'll just put a little bit in there. All right, so I've got my popcorn in there. And then I'm going to add some vinegar. And I want to think about this. Before I add my vinegar, I want to think, what's going to happen? What do I think is going to happen? So I'm kind of making some predictions. Is anything going to happen if I add some vinegar? So I'm going to go ahead and add some vinegar. I'm not quite adding all of it. And I'm looking to see what's happening. Hmm. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my baking soda. Do I think anything is going to happen to my bake with the baking soda? If I add the baking soda to the water, what's going to happen? So I'm going to go ahead and add, not all of it, but I'm going to add some. And I can see that the, that the water is starting to fizz, but what I really want to be looking for is if anything is happening to my popcorn. I saw one pop up. Oh, there goes another one. And I could wait and see if anything else would happen, but I'm not very patient, so I want to have some more fun. I want to be a mad science. Okay, mad scientist. So I'm going to put my glasses on, my mad science glasses on, and I'm going to add some more vinegar, and I'm going to add some more uh -oh, baking soda. I don't want to cause a volcano. I want to see my popcorn dancing. And there it goes. I can see them kind of going up and down. Ooh, this is so much fun. What happens if I add some more baking soda? I can see that a lot of my popcorn is floating to the top. Oh, it's kind of bouncing up and down. This is really fun. You need to try this. It's really kind of cool to watch what happens. And I just kind of keep playing around because that's what's so fun about science experiments. What happens if I add some more popcorn? And some more vinegar, I mean, some more baking soda. So I'm kind of watching and thinking about what's happening to my popcorn. Is my popcorn really dancing? So I can just keep on playing with this. This is just really cool. So there's my dancing popcorn. So my popcorn is still kind of floating and bouncing up and down, and I want to think about what really happened. I know that I added my popcorn to just plain water, but what happened when I added the vinegar? And then what happened when I added the baking soda? A scientist's mind is always thinking about the cause and effect. So what, what made the popcorn dance, and what happened when I added those ingredients together? Really nice to think about those kinds of things as you're doing the science experiment. So I love doing science experiments. I hope you had fun with this one. Go ahead and try it out. You'll, you will have fun. Um, if you like doing science experiments, you can check out some more of my videos, or you could also visit the link below to my Teachers Pay Teacher site, and that's got a packet that I, has all these different science experiments in. So have fun. Thanks for visiting. Bye.